Hey, what's up everybody? Ryan here. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Friday, which doesn't really make a lot of sense if you're not watching this on a Friday, but it's Friday when I'm recording this, so happy Friday. Welcome back to my Breath of the Wild. As you can see, I've done a little bit of work on uh, on the playthrough a little bit. I've done a little bit more shrine hunting. You can see I have a second full stamina wheel at this point. I have about nine heart vessels ready to go, uh, and so I really only need to complete uh, Rudania. Uh, Rudania, of course, once I finish, I will be able to get another heart container, which puts me up to 10 hearts and two full stamina wheels, which, to be completely honest, at that point, might as well be almost good enough to fight Ganon. Like, big time Ganon. I'm here at the shop right now, though, because I have a lot of money, as you can see, almost 2.6k rupees. There is a snowing, like, snow bowling game that I found, and every time you get a strike, you get 300 rupees, and I farmed that just a little bit and was able to get enough money to be able to afford the rest of the uh, flame breaker equipment because I really need it. I don't want to have to keep making fire resistant elixir potions and whatnot. So I could sell a few things to go ahead and get the helm as well too. But to be honest with you, I, I don't think I'm going to need a full, uh, a full set of this. I'm sure you get some awesome kind of set bonus for getting all three, but I really only need two flame guards for being able to progress and go through Redania. I also have, well, I don't have a lot of food, but I have enough food to keep me going. So the goal today is to basically go to Redania. And I mean, it didn't take me that long to beat the other divine beasts. I mean, I think on Naboris, I, I died one time and that was pretty much it. But for the other ones, I was able to do within just the first fight. So, uh, whoa. I forgot how dark it gets in here. <laughs> well, before I light anything or try to get any more light in here, let's go ahead and just clear out what we can see and what we do know is here. Of all of the divine beasts, I think this is the one that I think I remember the least. And I can't honestly tell you guys why. Maybe, maybe just the immense darkness has something to do with it, but... I remember doing all the other ones pretty vividly, but this one, admittedly, yeah, I'm kind of just like, huh, I don't remember this one at all. I did pick up a torch recently, so if nothing else, I could simply just do this and bring a little bit of light with me. Oh, I guess I was going to have to do that anyway. Whoa, I do not have a weapon out here, buddy. Just so I don't have to keep constantly going back and forth, relighting my torch. Let me just see how many of these I can see and just get rid of. It really is just incredibly hard to see. I just need to go back and get more torchlight. Well, hopefully when I get the map, I can turn the lights on. You got this, little guy. <laughs> Could you also turn the lights on? Thank you. That's very helpful. I can finally do this properly, it feels like. So what is Radania's deal? Radania can tilt 90 degrees to the left. And that's pretty much it. Now there is this one right here. And I think once I tilt it, I'll just simply have to like glide my way down there properly. Here we go. That activates that terminal. Very nice. Number one. This is going to be very Naboris style in regards to its timing. I can already tell. Getting to specific positions and then jumping and gliding a little bit while it's moving. <laughs> it is literally straight up tilted 90 degrees in the lava still. Oh no. Actually, I wonder if I can tilt Radania and save myself. Oh, I did it. I almost just fell off right there. That's crazy. Okay, I'm just going to stand right over here. Just going to trap myself in this little corner and bring Radania back up. And hopefully the terminal can keep me steady. There we go. You know, since my arrows light on fire, I wonder if I can just simply like Olympic torch light this from all the way over here. Nope, I'm straight up wasting my arrows. <laughs> Never mind. I think I see what I need to do here. I think I need to light this torch, and then I think I need to bring Radania this way. But I also need to be able to stand here because I need to go all the way up there, light a torch, which will release whatever ball I need to bring out here. I think. I think this is the right way. 
I'm pretty sure this is the right one. So it keeps traveling that way. I'm going to bring Radania back. Try not to lose my torch flame here. Cool. So now that's going to go down. Then I think I need to bring Radania back really quick. All oh, right. And then I think I need to race this because... Oh, no, I don't need to race it. The ball should hopefully start rolling down. There we go. There it is. And then there's a metal piece here that I just need to move. And that'll bring it through where it needs to go to. I'm starting to wonder if maybe I remember or don't remember this one because of how seemingly easy this is right now. The last one is... Oh, it's like behind me? Oh, wait, what's this? There's a little opening here that it looks like I might be able to get a blue flame into if I just light my arrow on fire. And I'm not sure if this is what you're supposed to do, but this should work. There we go. Terminal is behind all this fire here. So I'm just going to do a quick check of all of my runes to see what it is that would help me in this particular situation. Definitely not my camera. I think what's going to help me here is by rotating it for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm going to try to rotate Redania 90 degrees, see what happens. Well, that's new. A little bit of new perspective here. Um, Let's just light this on fire. Although... See, my arrows are on fire out here, but then when I... Oh... I guess all I had to do is go up to it with my flaming arrows that were attached to my hip, and that was going to be good enough. Which is strange, because when I when I pulled it out before, my arrow didn't light on fire, so oh well. Oh, I see. You yank it out, and then you use it to block your uh, to block your path, or to block the fire. So we'll move Radania back up this way. You make sure to hold onto this. Or just wedge it right there. And then use this to block dangerous fire. I, th I, th I think. Oh, no. Uh, and then rotate again. There we go. And then rotate again. So the terminal activates. And that's all five. Stay focused, little guy. Yeah, admittedly, this was probably the easiest one of the Divine Beasts that I have done. I'm curious how many did this one first, because it felt like I needed to do very little preparation in order to actually get through the terminal trial portion of this, uh, of this Divine Beast, which is great. Well, if the terminals were easy enough that I can't really remember them, then hopefully the, uh, the Ganon that we fight here is also going to be easy enough that I don't remember them as well. <laughs> but only one way to find out. Man, this one looks so much crazier than the other three, though. Let's go. I'll just keep on doing my best to get some crits off here on this guy. I say I should do a pretty good job. He's already dealt a lot of damage to me already. I can't reach him from here, though. That's the thing. Is it? He's all the way up there. Hmm. Yeah, I keep hitting him with crits and he keeps on... I mean, he's hovering like 10 feet off the ground here, really. I'm not sure exactly how I'm supposed to get to him whenever I crit on him. It looks like this is going to be a good opportunity to do so. If I had more arrows. Ooh, not, not hit him with my torch. Don't hit him with the torch. Hit him with the battle axe. Let's see if we can get some charged up damage here with all the stamina that I've got. Oh, and her post is fury activated there at the very end, too. That was awesome. Just hold it down again. Oh, right into phase two, but, but my axe broke. Oh, he's lighting his thing on fire, and now he's got, like, Daruk's protection. I don't even think I have any more arrows as well. Nope, I'm all out. Okay, Blizzard Rod. Well, let's see if this comes in handy now. This is something I picked up doing that that snow bowling thing that I was that I was talking about 
earlier as well. What the? Oh, I'm just going to hide behind this pillar. Because that looks dangerous. Oh, man. What am I supposed to do with this? Oh, there he goes again. Looks like he's charging up a spirit bomb. How am I supposed to get this guy? Mm, well, now he's just not coming down. I'm just going to throw something at him and see what that does. It just straight up broke. Regular attacks won't work here. What do you want me to do? Okay, I'm going to try to either freeze it or block it whenever it happens. So that, that evaporates it at least. All right, what if I try... I tried this already, but maybe it's different because he's like... There we go. He's like, there we go. He's like bringing everything in and even including the bomb so I can do this now. I don't have any more ice arrows or anything icy, I don't think, at this point. So this is going to be a long fight. Yeah, my, uh, my ice rod broke while I was trying to figure this whole thing out. Do not have much left in the way of weaponry here, so I'm just... Whatever I can. Hit him with everything. He's got so little help. I'm so desperate. I'm just hitting a fire monster with a fire weapon. Oh, wow. The bomb actually knocked him out for a little bit. I'm losing all of my weapons. But that's okay. He's almost done. He's almost done. This is going to be it. If I have to beat him up with a torch. You know what? Last hit. Torch. There we go. <laughs> I was sure I was going to lose all my weapons before that fight was going to be over. That's going to be our 10th heart container. Nice round, even 10. And the fourth divine beast taken down. Uh, I've never been more excited to see one of the champion spirits. Sorry that me resting with the rubble cost such oh, a Oh, Daruk's such a good guy, even after straight up apologizing for... Like, he thinks he failed, but he, he didn't. He tried his best. I'm gonna take this down the mountain. Megazord we needed. Well, that ought to do it. I wonder how the morons fared after the great calamity. How's he gonna see his little nephew down there? I sure hope everyone down there is still going strong after every Yeah, he is. Oh, I just got like goosebumps and chills. Chill bumps. It's so cool that at least one of the spirits got to see someone other than Link. That's so great. Because even Mifa couldn't go see her dad for some reason. Daruk's protection. A protective power containing the perfect defense of the champion Daruk. It will automatically protect you from all manner of attacks as long as you're holding the shield button. You've reclaimed the four divine beasts by defeating the four Ganon phantoms haunting them. You should let Impa know of your success. Let's go do that and see what kind of reward we get because I, 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 I completely forgot. I have no clue, but that'll do it. All four divine beasts done. I think this one was probably the easiest one out of all four of them given how long it took and how what appeared to be very little trial and error as in comparison to the other ones, admittedly. Hey, Impa, our divine beast problem has been resolved. Daruk, Urbosa, Rivali, Mifa. A hundred years ago, I put my life on the line to fight alongside everyone, but I could not protect them. They died without fulfilling their destinies. I've lived all this time thinking they died in vain, but this energy I feel from their presence seems they have not given up. I can also sense that they were all overjoyed to see you again. Even Rivali, I believe you will find Calamity Ganon in Hyrule Castle. 
Well, yeah. Even with the blessings of the Divine Beast on your side, you must be careful. Calamity Ganon will be well protected. Be prepared for anything. Rivali's gale is nice. Already. And there's Rivali to let us know that the gale is ready as always. Never ceases to scare the crap out of me. Well, when it comes to armor and fighting Ganon, I would go so far as to wager that the Akala or the Akala Tech Lab would be the location to go to because it provides all of the guardian armor and ancient stuff rather that you can buy. And as you can see, other than gears, I have enough of most things to be able to build a lot of the armor. The only, the only thing I'm really missing is a lot of the rupees, but the rupees solution or rather the rupees problem can be solved pretty handedly by just doing the snowballing thing. I can't believe I've already mentioned it so many times this episode, but I cannot, I cannot stress enough just how awesome it is to be able to get so many rupees just by pulling a strike every time. So given that, obviously Hyrule Castle is going to be overrun with Guardians, and this gear should also help me in the overall fight with Ganon as well too. I think as well, I kind of want some of the weapons, the ancient sword, uh, short sword, almost said sword sword, and the ancient blade saw are, if I remember correctly, very good. Now, the only problem with this, though, is, of course, each piece of equipment requires so many ancient cores and so many ancient gears. I have enough to build pretty much everything else, but those two things in particular are going to take quite a while to get to. Well, I get that sorted out in regards to my funds and how I plan on going about getting all that stuff. I figured this would also be a good opportunity for me to go ahead and just start making my way through uh, through Korok Forest. Try to meet up with Hestu once again, and of course try and get the, uh, get the Master Sword. Something I've mentioned doing a few times already, and I think, yeah, definitely going to go ahead and work on that. So let's use Revali's Gale here, get a nice little bit of distance, and uh, just start making our way through. I believe the entrance is around this way if i remember correctly you cannot just straight up walk into the fog or fly into the fog so we'll start over here and this may or may not be a bad idea as my weapon uh situation is still pretty bad from after the redania fight so we'll just see how far we get to okay lost woods yeah i can't say i fully remember exactly what it is i'm supposed to do here but We'll just figure it out along the way. Bunch of lit torches on the way there. I'm just gonna follow them. Which may or may not be a good idea. Try not to go too far off the beaten path here. Although it does look like the beaten path basically goes away right there. Yup, that's... Uh-huh. Forgot about that. Okay, so... Cool. As long as you are going in the right direction, you won't be immediately yanked out. And the torches stay lit in regards to where you've been to, so cool. Okay, so far so good. Oh, nope, nope. Ah, oh, it sucks that you can't, like, get far away enough before it takes you completely. Okay, well, that was at least the right direction. At least I'm pretty sure this is the right direction... I just don't see anything else out here, though, but I don't feel like I'm supposed to go up. What if I use Revali scale to fly really high? Is it going to kick me out? Oh, no, it doesn't. How far can I go here? Right about there. I wonder if it's like an Elden Ring situation where the, uh, what's it called? Where the light, where how the fire is blowing with the wind is kind of like guiding you to where you need to go. Let's see. That's pointing me this way. Yep, and now suddenly this is pointing... Well, it's kind of pointing that way. But this is the torch that I keep getting stuck at. Where do you want me to go? You want me to go this way. I hope. So far, so good. Oh, here's some torches. Uh, not some torches. Here's some... That tree just popped in out of nowhere. Here's, here's these two. And it looks like I can pick up a torch here if I didn't have one. But where do you want me to go? Looks like they both want me to go towards this way. As much as I can, I'll stick on a straight path. Trying to avoid these trees. That's not scary or horrifying whatsoever. Hopefully I didn't just lose my way here. I'm noticing a lot of the trees have smiley faces and stuff though now. 
Very creepy. Let's keep on following the torch. All of the trees having those faces on it is so eerie. Looks like we might be getting close to somewhere now. I've got an opening here. Less trees, gigantic rock formations. It looks like we might have made it through. Seems promising. I think this might be it. I hear happy music. I see Koroks flying up there. Definitely made it. We get to see Hestu again. I wonder if these are some of the Koroks I've already found. Otherwise, there's just a ton of them here. Here's the... Oh, here it is. The Master Sword. With how much they brought it up to me before I actually pulled the Master Sword, even got to it. Kind of sucks that I wasn't able to get it before I talked to any of the champions, but here now. Before I even attempt it, though, I do want to go talk to Giant Korok here. Where is Hesu? Wait, you haven't even touched the sword yet? What are you waiting for? You've got to go get the sword first. I'll tell you all about the Korok Trials once you've taken care of that. Oh, there's a shrine over here. I was trying to figure out if there was anywhere possible that I could go to get a travel location for this spot. And here you go. Well, I'm going to do the shrine later. There's Hestu. He was just over here to the right. Hi, Hestu. It's been a while, but I have a lot of stuff that I need to get you because I need way more inventory space. I need more everything. I need more weapon stash, bow stash. I need it all. I need it all. After plenty of done, none of us, we have <laughs> a lot of bow and arrow slots. We have quite a few shield slots, which I definitely don't think I need as much as the others. But the weapon slot increase was definitely one that I needed to do. Um... Which, again, is so... It's such a shame that I only have three of these weapons. One of which is a torch that is about to basically break. But thank you, Hestu. Now then, it is time to give this a shot. Admittedly, I cannot remember if the way to get this was via stamina or via health. So, with that in mind, I have something that replenishes stamina. And I thought I had things that increased my health. I thought I had hearty radishes or hearty truffles that were built... Or, or cooked for that. I can cook them if need be. But what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to attempt to try and pull it out. And see if I can just do it on the first try. Here we go. Link. You are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. Oh, that's right. The great that? Deku it tree wakes up first. Again. Well, well, it's you. You finally decided to return. Better late than never. After yeah, 100 sleep. years, I've nearly given up hope on seeing you again. Even my patience has limits, you know. That look on your face tells me that you have no recollection of me, however. I have watched over Hyrule since time immemorial. Many have referred to me over the ages as the Deku Tree. That is the weapon created by the ancient goddess. The sword that seals the darkness that only the Chosen Knight can wield against the Calamity Ganon. Believe it or not, it was actually you who wielded that sword 100 years ago. But I must warn you to take extreme caution. The sword stands as a test to anyone who would dare attempt to possess it. As you are now, I cannot say whether you are worthy or not. If you sought to free the sword in any sort of weakened state, <laughs> that's adorable. The little uh, little Korox trying to pull a stick out of the ground. <laughs> Best of luck, young one. Have faith, Deku Tree. I got this. And if I don't have it now, then I'll have it in the next episode. I hope. Stamina or health? Which is it?
It's health. How much health do I need? Come on, Link. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, man. I think I... I think I need maybe one or two more hearts. But I do wonder if that can just be circumvented by having temporary hearts. Hey, they go away, so this is completely pointless. All right, everybody. Well, I know what I have to do now. If I want to do this right, I have to do a lot more shrines and link is going crazy right now while i stand this close to the master sword but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do a lot more shrines i'm gonna get my health up like i said i i'm pretty sure i only need maybe one or two more actual hearts before i can pull the master sword out so with that in mind i think i only really need to do six more shrines in order for me to be able to get the eight that i need in order to upgrade my heart containers so for now, everyone from Hestu and myself, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed it, and I hope you all have been enjoying this playthrough of Breath of the Wild thus far. I look forward to linking up with you all again in the next episode when I have hopefully more hearts to be able to get the Master Sword. And this is a really weird time for a Blood Moon to be happening while I'm in the very magical Korok Forest. But okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out of here. Be sure to like and subscribe, everybody. <laughs> thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Have a great day.